Hi there, welcome to GLVCSports.com. We are at the 2014 GLVC Women's Basketball Tournament, the Deaconess GLVC Women's Basketball Tournament at the Ford Center in Evansville, Indiana. And uh, with us today, two uh, very excited young women that uh, – are with the victorious Truman Bulldogs, our second straight upset here at the Deaconess uh, GLVC tournament, seven-seeded uh, Truman State defeating uh, number two seed defending champions and the G GLVC East Division division champions, Lewis Flyers, tonight by a score of 84-70 to 70 with us tonight, head coach Amy Egan and uh, Bianca Savarowitz. And uh, Amy, we'll first start with you. Congratulations, uh, you know, this is one where you know you play the uh, you have the play-in game here, but this is the first kind of true tournament game that would tournament feel in the big arena, and you come in and and you just uh, you get the upset. What a credible performance by the Bulldogs tonight! Thank you. You know, I, I thought our kids really executed tonight def defensively for us. Uh, I thought we you know we played with a lot of energy. We really focused in. We did a great job of rebounding, uh, and we threw up some points too. So that never hurts. Let's talk a little bit about the team effort. Uh, you know, going into the game, you knew that uh, Lewis had a, uh, a dominant player in Mariah Henley, the player of the year, and uh, 23 points, 16 rebounds. You knew that that one person was going to be a factor. But, you know, w talk about the focus and, and trying to shut down the rest, maybe giving her, you know, her, her output, her player of the year effort, and then uh, shutting down the rest of the team. Well, we knew she was going to be able to do some things. I think the biggest thing for us was to limit some of her touches uh, and then make her pass out of the post a little bit and see if we could rotate from there and then, then miss some shots on the outside. Um, and, you know, I, I thought our kids did a, a very good job at that, uh, of rotating, and uh, they did miss some shots, and then we finished with, with rebounding. But, you know, they don't only have her. They have, you know, two other first-team all-conference kids that are very, very good that you have to stop as well. So we weren't focused as much on one kid, but, um, you know, we just knew we had to have a good defensive effort. And Bianca, you had an incredible effort tonight, 22 points, 8 of 15 shooting. I think it tied a career high for you. Talk a little bit about your individual performance and, you know, what it meant to, to get the upset here in uh, Evansville. Um, well, I'm kind of, we, every year we made it to a conference tournament, so this year it was really nice to actually not lose first round and keep on going. Um, I don't know. I just, just, just played. I'm a senior. Every game could be my last game, and I just want to go out hard. Well, that's certainly the kind of the credo that in the postseason is that you know it, this this could be the last game. But you, Truman State has a wonderful uh, uh, display of scores. I mean, a top down, you know, the starting five. I mean, they could they can score in double figures. I think it's the first time ever in in school history that you have five players averaging in double figures. And you know, tonight you had four uh, led by your twenty two points. Talk a little bit about your your teammates and uh, how how comfortable it is on the floor to be able to distribute the ball to and knowing that anyone can uh, can score in double figures um it's really comfortable actually because you know you don't have all the pressure of scoring on yourself um also like it's just easy because we can all depend on each other to step up in certain points and especially like today when we got ryan hart in trouble like we knew that we had to have certain people take it out her and get her in trouble foul trouble Amy, last question. Uh, certainly, we've got one game to go tonight before you know your opponent on Saturday. But uh, uh, you got def definitely have that Friday off, and and you come back for Saturday's nightcap, or or I should should say, you know, two thirty matinee, uh, as it turns out with the women's bracket. But um, you know, just just for the sake of you coming in and seeing what happened in the second quarter final with uh, Drury, the top seed, um, getting knocked off, and then you guys take out the two seed. I mean, certainly a, a lot of confidence for this team moving forward this weekend, and and certainly the kind of the anything goes uh, and anything can happen mentality. It, um, talk about your team's focus, kind of going into Saturday. You know, I, I think we're going to enjoy this for a couple hours and then we're going to get back to work. And that's something we talked about. You know, uh, our, our biggest thing, I think, in the locker room is we're not done. And we want to keep playing. And we're such a such a great team. And, and uh, they're such great teammates that they're not ready for to say goodbye to the seniors yet. So we're going to keep pushing and, and uh, like I said, enjoy it for, for a couple hours. And then we'll get back to work and focus on our next opponent. Well, they're the newest conference member here at the GLVC, but uh, they're certainly playing like uh, like they've been here before. They put forth a, a tremendous effort tonight. Truman State uh, knocking off the number two seed, defending champions, the Lewis Flyers, 84-70 to here at the Ford Center in Evansville, Indiana. Truman State, the seventh seed, moving on to the semifinals on Saturday. More coverage of the Deaconess GLVC Women's Basketball Tournament to come. Thanks for logging on to GLVCSports.com.